Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to create a water tank fluid simulations. So first we'll take a geometry and just go inside. So let us take particle fluid tank. And now see it has been created a tank with particles. So if you come to the settings here, we can increase and decrease the size of this tank here by using uh, the size option here. So just we can increase in X axis. And also, if you want, you can increase in z-axis. And also here, there is an option like particle separation. So this is used to increase and decrease the amount of particles. And also here, there is an option like water level. So we can increase and decrease the water level here. And now what the thing is, I want to set this water tank exactly onto the top of this grid. Uh, so in order to do that, just we'll copy the parameter of this size. So we can right click and just we can copy. And just we can paste in the center. So right click and paste relative reference. And now say it is going top. And what the thing is, I want to multiply with a 0 0.5. So see here, just if I type multiply by 0 0.5, now it will exactly set on to this top here. So why we are you copying this parameter? Because whenever we make any changes here, it will automatically apply to this parameter here. So it is a link between these two values. And now we will adjust this water level. So we are not able to see the particles here. Uh, so we can increase the size and also we can increase the water level here. And next we will take a node called DOP network. So DOP network and just we'll connect this and we'll go inside this DOP network. And next we'll take a flip solver. So just flip solver and just connect it with output. And also we'll take a flip object. And just we'll connect to this flip solver and just we'll select this flip object. And now what the thing is, we have to select the tank which we have created outside. So this one, so just uh, here in flip object, we need to browse that. So in SOP path, select this and just we need to select this particle fluid tank. So select this and just click on accept. And now we will change the input type to particle field. And next we'll go to the guides and here we have to go to these particles and now at present we are seeing this sprite. So instead of that, we need to see the particles. So we need to select the particles in the visualization. And now we will add a force uh, because if you play, it will not fall down. So just we need to add a force so that the water will fall down. So just we need, we will add in gravity and just we'll connect in between this. And now we'll click on play. So see now the particles are falling down and now see if you uh, zoom out, you can see these boundaries here. So the particle will simulate only inside this boundary and this boundary size is very big here. Now we have to match the boundary size according to the size of this tank here. So in order to do that, just we'll go inside this. Suppose if you want to change the size of this boundary here, if you select this uh, fl flip solver here, there is an option like volume motion. And here we have to change the size of this box so that it will match exactly to this uh, flip tank. So in order to match exactly, so just we need to go to uh, this particle fluid and here we can copy the size of this box. So we can just like right click, copy parameters and just we need to go inside. And here we have to select this flip solver and here right click, there is an option like paste relative reference. So why we are copying this? Because uh, whatever the changes we do for this, particle fluid simulation here, if you change any size, then it will automatically apply to inside this volume here. And also if you want to change the volume color, so here uh, you can change this color. So just we can put it to like blue. And now for Y axis, we don't need this link here. Uh, so just we will, so if you select this box size and here Y axis, I will delete this channel. So right click, there is an option like delete channel. So now we'll change this uh, size of this box here. So just we can change. And now see whenever we are changing the size, it is going uh, down the grid level. So we need to set this box exactly onto this grid level. So just we'll adjust this first and we will copy this parameter. So right click, copy parameter and just we need to paste onto this center. So right click, paste related to reference. And now what the thing is just we have to multiply by 0.5. So that now see it will exactly set on to the grid level. And now we'll click on play. So just if you click on this play, 
and see so it is going out of this boundary so what the thing is we need to convert this box as an collider and for that we need to select this flip object and we need to go to this option like closed boundary so we have to enable this so that whenever we simulate the particles will collide to this box and see now it is colliding to this box here and also we need to copy this particle separation so whenever we increase or decrease particle separation it has to apply to this particle system here so just we will do we will select this flip object and just we will select this right click copy parameter and just will go outside and we'll select this tank here and here also we will right click paste relative reference here and now see it has been increased the particles uh, so whenever we make some changes to this flip object so it will be applied to this particle fluid tank so now the particles are more uh, so just we will uh, decrease this uh, so let's say we'll change the value to 0 0.18 or something so now we will create some collision objects so that the collision objects will fall onto this tank so according to that it will uh, create the simulation so in order to do that, just we will take any geometry. So let us take a sphere. So set the display flag for the sphere. Uh, so now uh, see the sphere is very small. So we can increase the size here. And also here we can convert it to polygons. And now we can increase the number of frequencies so that it will increase the number of mesh. And now what the thing is, we need to change the shape of this object here. So in order to do that, just we will take a mountain node. So just we'll convert into like rocks so select this and now see it has been changed the size uh, so if you want to do it more like we can use this amplitude and you can use this element size and we can use this offset so we can get a uh, different variety of shape here so now it is round so if you want to change the shape so we can go to the sphere and we can change this uh, so let's say we'll change in like x-axis or something in this way and if you want to make it smooth, we can increase the frequency of this. Uh, so just we can increase the frequency. So in mountain node, there are different types of uh, noise type here. So so let us select this uh, option here. Uh, so this we will get this shape here. And if you want to decrease this sharpness, uh, then here we can use this element size so that now we will get this thing in this way. And if you want more divisions, we can go to the frequency. Uh, like suppose if you select this sphere and we can increase this frequency and just we can put up to like 15 or something. So it is okay. And also we will make a number of copies of this uh, rock here. So just we can take and copy and transform. So we can connect this and just we can create. So enable this. And just we can put the number of copies. So we want to create a number of copies like two. Uh, so just we'll translate this in this way. And now we'll just move these rocks uh, to the y direction. So for that, again, I will take a transform node, transform. And also just we'll template this fluid tank. So now it's okay. Uh, so just we can move to this y direction. Uh, sorry, just we need to select this transform. And if you want to rotate, just you can rotate. So if you select this copy to transform, you can rotate in different direction. Okay, now this is okay. And just if you want to decrease the size, just you can use this and just you can decrease the size here. And now we need to pack this geometry. So in order to do that, we need to take an assemble node. So select this and just we need to connect here. And inside this, we need to enable this option called create pack primitives. And just we need to connect to this DOP network. Uh, so just we will select this. And now we'll connect to this second input here. And now we'll go inside this DOP network. And now what the thing is, we need to convert these rocks into rigid bodies. Uh, so in order to do that, first we'll take a node RBD packed object. And after that, we'll take an rigid body solver and just we need to connect this and now what the thing is here we need to browse the model uh, so if you select this rbd packed object and here you can see the geometry source so here we have to select this second context geometry so as we have connected this object to this second here the second input so we need to uh, select this option to the second context geometry in this geometry source 
and now we need to match this both uh, so we need to take a match node and just we need to connect in between and now we have to connect this object to here and in match node here the effector relationship we have to set it to like mutual so now what the thing is we need to add the force for the rocks too so now we have added this gravity so this gravity works for only the particles here so now we this gravity has to be effect to this both the objects and objects and particles so just i will disconnect this gravity and just i will connect after after this match here and now we will click on play so just play here and see now uh, the velocity of these particles are affecting onto the rock actually what the thing is now the rocks has to go inside the particles so it should not reflect to the up direction and now in order to do that uh, we have to select this match here and just we have to change this uh, order of this thing so just we need to uh, change the direction of this rigid body solver and also here effector relationship i will put the option to left inputs affect right inputs so by changing this option, uh, what it is doing is like now the particles are affecting using this rocks here. So previously what the thing is, the rocks are being affected by the velocity of the particles in this. So that's why we have changed the order here. And now we will see this. And now you can see now it is going inside this water particles and still we need a collision uh, below this water particles because the stones are going down. So now we need to add a ground plane. So just we'll take a ground plane node. So just select this and we need to take another match. So select this match and we need to connect this after the gravity because it should not be affected due to uh, with the gravity here. So now we will connect to this match and in this match we need to select the relationship to mutual. And now we will check this. And now you can see the stones are colliding to this ground plane here. And we got this nice simulation and if you want to increase the water level we can increase this and now if you want to increase the water level we can uh, go back and just we can select this fluid particle tank and just we need to increase this water level so just we can increase this water level and now we will see this so just we'll go inside this dot network and now just we'll click on play and now we got this nice simulation and now what the thing is now if you want you can increase the velocity of these stones so in you if you want to increase the velocity so then we can select this rbd packed object and here you can see there is an option like velocity so as it is falling towards the negative y direction so here we have to change the value in the y axis so let's say we'll put the value to minus 10 or something and now we will see this and also just we will increase the water level more uh, so just we'll go back will increase the water level so like just second uh, put the value to like seven or something and also we have to increase this volume uh, so see that the volume size is less uh, so just we can increase this and also we can increase this water level to nine or something and now we will see this so just we'll go inside this and now we will click on this play and also we need to change the uh, positions of this stone because now it is directly falling onto the water level. So just uh, if you go to this outside, if you go outside and just you can use this transform. So just you can template this. Uh, so just I will change the direction. Uh, so just I will put the value to here. And now we will go inside. And now we will see this. And see now the velocity of the stones has been increased. It depends on the situation. Uh, we can change the value of this velocity here. And now if you increase more velocity, you can uh, see more impact. Uh, so let's say just I will put up to like 30 or something and just we'll click on play. And now see we have more impact on this fluids here uh, with increasing the velocity. And also now instead of these stones, we can add the pop forces. Uh, so by using the forces, we can uh, simulate this water fluid. So I will show that. So first of all, we have to disconnect this thing. Which I will connect this flip solver directly to this out here. And just we'll remove this. So now I have directly connected to this thing like a flip object, flip solver, and I have connected to this output here. And also in between, we need to add in gravity too. So just I will disconnect this gravity and just I will connect in between this flip solver here. And also we'll decrease the level of this water. Uh, so if you go back, just you can select this 
and you can select this uh, particle tank and just we can decrease the water level. Uh, so let's say up to here. And now we'll go inside again. Uh, so just select this. And now we will add a node called pop access force. So just we'll take and pop access force. And just we need to connect to the second input of this flip solver. So just we need to connect this. And as you can see, we got this uh, pop solver force here. So we need to increase the size of this. Uh, so if you select this, we can increase the radius here. And also just we can increase the height. And now we will move this to the water level. Uh, so just we will change the direction. So just we'll place up to here. And just we can increase the size. And now we'll click on this play. And as you can see here, the particles are rotating. And now we will increase the speed of this orbit. Uh, so in order to increase this, we can select this and there is an option like speed here. So just we can increase the speed. Let's say we'll put up to like six or something. And now we will see this. So see, now we got this beautiful simulation. And also we can use this value. So if you want to uh, move the water to the up direction, then we can use this lift speed here. So let's say we will increase this. And also we can use this suction speed. Suction means nothing but just it will suck inside this, uh, whatever the pop force we have added. So let's say we will just increase this. And now we will see this. And see now the water is coming to the up direction and also it is making cool simulation. And according to your requirement, we can play this, uh, play with these values here. Uh, so like we can decrease this lift speed, just we can decrease this suction speed. And also just we'll increase this, uh, decrease this orbit speed here. Uh, just we can, and see we got this nice simulation here. And also now if you want to create more turbulence uh, on this water particles too, because the water is very flat here. So if you want to create some sort of this, uh, like turbulence here, we can add in, force called like pop force. So just we can add this pop force and just we need to merge in between this pop axis and pop force. So just we'll take an merge node and just we will connect in between here and just we'll connect this here. And now we'll go to this settings here. So select this and we can add some sort of noise here. So if you select this pop force here, you can see there is an amplitude. Alexa will put it to like six or something. And now we'll play. And now you can see it has been added some sort of noise to the overall uh, fluid here. And also if you want to uh, add this well, we can use this well option. So just we can increase this. So just we can put the value to like three or something. And just we'll click on play again. So see now it is adding the swell. And if you want to add more dark color, we can select this flip object. And if you come down, just we can increase the velocity. So let's say we'll put up to like 20 or something. And now we can increase this lift speed here. Uh, so just we can put up to like six or something. Just we'll see this. And now we got this cool simulation. So in this way, we can create the flip tank simulation. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.